Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Formulas and Physics for Magnetism. So, magnetism is an electromagnetic phenomena that arises or emerges from electric currents and also the magnetic moments of fundamental particles in the universe. There are several equations that involve the magnetic field, typically denoted by B, and this is a vector. And this magnetic field can be written in terms of the permeability of free space, or the vacuum, which is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 volts times seconds over amperes times meters. These are the units. So this permeability of the vacuum times the magnetic field H plus this magnetization M. So in the absence of material, B is simply equal to mu naught H. And when you have a material present, this extra term, mu naught M vector, is what's called the magnetic polarization. So you can have a magnetic field that is contributed from the polarization of the molecules inside of a material in the presence of a magnetic field. A second equation that involves magnetism would be that of the Lorentz force. So if you have just a magnetic field, an external magnetic field, and a charged particle that is moving in some direction with some velocity, uh, v, and here is your magnetic field vector going along in this direction, then the charged particle will actually experience a force due to that magnetic field. And the force equation is equal to Q, which is the charge of the particle. Q can either be positive or negative, depending on the type of particle, times the cross product between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. If the charged particle in question is positive, then the direction of the Lorentz force will be in this direction. So this is some angle theta between these two vectors. And we see that the Lorentz force is orthogonal to both the velocity and the magnetic field vector. If, however, the charged particle is negative, then the Lorentz force will be in the opposite direction. But because the direction of the Lorentz force and the magnetic field is 90 degrees, then the magnetic field will never do any work on the charged particle, because the charged particle will either oscillate around the magnetic field in a circle, or it will go and gyrate around the magnetic field in a helical path. But again, the magnetic field does no work. Finally, we can consider Maxwell's equations. There are four equations, two which describe the divergence and curl of the electric field, and the other two which describe the divergence and curl of the magnetic field. So Gauss's law for magnetism states that the divergence of the magnetic field is equal to zero. This is tantamount to saying that magnetic monopoles cannot fundamentally exist in the universe. The second of the two magnetic field equations in Maxwell's set of equations is Ampere's circuital law. And this describes the curl of the magnetic field. And the curl of the magnetic field is equal to mu naught times j vector, this is the total current density, plus epsilon naught, which is the permittivity of free space, as opposed to the permeability, times the time derivative of the electric field. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics Equations for Magnetism.